Russia penalty shootout defeat to Gateshead in the FA Trophy quarterfinals. Could you sum up your emotions at the moment? Disappointed we didn't win in 90 minutes. Um, created the best chances. They had a load of possession, which we, we knew that. I thought as uh, organisation, as team shape, uh, without the ball was outstanding. I thought as a work ethic, the way we shuffled across from midfield and, and cut off avenues. They've hardly created a clear cut chance. I don't think they have created a clear cut chance. They Max, Max has made a couple of saves that I'd expect him to make, but we've we've had opportunities on the counter. Again, you know Theo's pace caused them a lot of problems. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm I'm disappointed with him winning 90 minutes, but I'm really proud. You know, little village from Leeds. Um, nobody's beat us five games. Um, two's gone to penalty shootouts. We're one one. Unfortunately, we didn't win that today. But no criticism of anybody took a penalty, it's brave to hold your hand up to take the pen. Um, the only people that, that don't miss penalties is the ones that don't take them, that's a fact. So, very proud. Uh, everybody at the football club should be proud of, of what we've achieved today because I think a lot of people thought we'd come here and get turned over and chances created, we've been the best team. Yeah, I mean, the way we came out in that first half against the team in the league above, it was us kind of getting on the front foot and creating the chances. We've got him behind, behind a few times, which, you know, obviously we didn't take the chances, but you must be pleased about the way we were able to, to get at them. Yeah, we, we knew that. We, we spoke about that, about playing on the counter attack, about, you know, when play turns over, can we play forward quickly? Because they are very expansive. You know, yeah, they're a good team. You know, we, we come here last year and, and, and they turned us over big time, but uh, I thought today, uh, like I just said, shake behind the ball, striker dropping in, uh, being compact, two backs of four with a striker in. They've created very little. You know, they've had a lot of the ball, uh, but the games for me not won and lost on, on, on possession. Um, it's about chances created, uh, entries into the final third, um, first contact in both boxes. It's an outstanding performance. Um, gutted, you know, we are gutted. We gutted in there, but we're very proud as well. Yeah, in the, the second half, obviously, as you mentioned, they did see a lot of the ball. There were a lot of digging in and fighting and scrapping from ourselves. And does that kind of sum up, you know, kind of what this team has been about, particularly over the last couple of months? Totally. Yeah, totally. And if we can take that togetherness, which we will, you know, into the rest of the season, I'm sure we'll be fine. We've just got to be a little bit more clinical, especially in games like this. You know, you're at a quarter-final game. When the opportunities come, we've, you know, we've got to take them. But credit to their keeper. He's made some good saves. Um, Thought the fans were outstanding. You know, it's been a great turnout for us as a football club. Thought they got behind the lads from start to finish. Um, gutted for them. You know, be nice to have got another and get the journey going if you like. But, uh, not to be. We go back to the bread and butter now, and uh, you know, a tough game on Tuesday night. Obviously, it might be difficult to do so in the moment, but when you kind of look back at this FA Trophy run, getting to within a penalty shootout of the semi-finals, how will you kind of reflect on that? that? Yeah. Lowest ranked team left in it. Um, great achievement. You know, we will sit back and look through the, through the games and, and think about how well we've done in, the, in this cup run. Um, nobody's got to take that away from us, you know, and I don't think the fans will. We've given the fans a, a great journey. Uh, I think last year we, we what did we win one game last year in the trophy. This year we've, we've competed in five, uh, won three, and a couple of shoots out, shootouts. Um, and we enter the, the last eight, like I said the only team left in from, from our level, so huge achievement, um, again massive credit to the players, you know, you, I keep mentioning about the Saturday Tuesday games, it, it is crazy, uh, again we haven't got a break on, on that till, till the 25th of March, till after that, that last game, and then we get a breather, um, we look tired, I think last 15 minutes it was a concern, you wanted to freshen things up but then you're also looking, we're still a threat on top of the pitch, you know, we might nick one right at the death, but it wasn't to be. But uh, you know, stand here, a very proud man today. And obviously, it's a, a defeat on paper, I suppose. But is that the sort of the performance that can keep the momentum going from from what we've been doing in recent weeks? Yeah, yeah. It's one, one defeat in eleven games now, and that, that was against Fylde. Uh, I touched on it last time. We actually played well there as well. So I think you've got to look more performance sometimes than results. If the performance is good, the, the result usually is, and it has. The lads have been outstanding. These last few months has, uh, it has been an incredible run. We're still down in the, in the bottom end, which you find baffling at times. Um, results have been okay, but 
but we have to do our business as well. We know how big the game is on Tuesday. Don't want to big it up too much, so because there's still plenty of football to play. But we know it's an important game. Got to make sure, hopefully, uh, you know, we rest up and get, and get ready for a, a, another battle on Tuesday. Yeah, as you mentioned there, it's all focus is back on the, the league now for the last couple of months of the season. It's a big last 10 or so games, but you know, you can focus fully on the challenge of staying up, which you know, I assume was always the main aim. Yeah, I think it's somebody said, you, you know, you can either win trophy or stay up. Uh, it, it's one of them that you have to think about because, you know, the excitement of, of getting through in the trophy is there for everybody, you know, associated with the club. But I think, you know, your bread and butter is more important over four or six games. Um, that's his that's his target. We know how difficult that we're going to be at the start of the season when it's four going down after only one last season. You know, when I come in last season, I knew I had certainly half a chance to keep us up because there was, I only had to finish above uh, one team this year you've got to finish above four and there's some, some big teams down there as well you know, the Boston's and there's a few bigger teams down there that you know, are not quite safe as well um, so it's going to be a really interesting uh, last quarter of the season